I really do not know. <clears throat> but as I said earlier, <clears throat> the cancellation of the Senator Batos visa was the last straw that broke the camel's back. It was an accumulation, a series of disrespectful acts by the, some of the U.S. Senators. One, first demanding the release of a senator who is lawfully detained. to our mind and to the president's mind. That is an intrusion and an insult to the judiciary system of this country. Number two, a U.S. Senate resolution condemning alleged violations of human rights, which <clears throat> have been a cycle of lies peddled by the critics and detractors of the president, which are baseless and totally exaggerated. Number three, the introduction of an amendment to the U.S. national budget barring entry of certain Philippine government officials <clears throat> who were involved or has anything to do with the, what they describe as a wrongful detention, which is false, as we have explained elaborately many times over, is a disrespect. Not that we are requiring the U.S. to tell us the reason for the barring, <clears throat> as well as Senator Batos visa being canceled. But we feel that as a matter of courtesy between countries who are allied. It should have given us the reasons therefore. <clears throat> After all, we stated the reason why we are refusing entry to two, three U.S. senators in this country. And fourth, of course, is that cancellation of <clears throat> Senator Bato's visa. These are the reasons why the president decided to terminate the visiting forest agreement. You must remember that this BFA is a special grant of privilege agreement. Among others, under the BFA, the Philippines cannot assume jurisdiction over crimes committed by U.S military personnel, unless a particular crime is of particular importance to the Philippines. And even in those cases where the Philippines can assume jurisdiction, under the BFA, the courts are required to finish it in one year with respect to the legal proceedings. So under the BFA, they cannot even be arrested or detained. They cannot even be tried in religious and military courts. They're exempted from the requirements on visa and passport. Mm -hmm. To top it all, their US, the U.S. aircrafts and vessels can move without restriction in the Philippines, unrestricted movement. 